good evening. I'd like to thank you for the presidential address. I would just like to say my side of the story and how she, I was wrongly accused of taking all the pictures in the bathroom. Okay. So, started one day in Graziana's class. It was a warm summer day. The flowers came in. And she was like, Mr. McNess, would you like to uh, re list for uh, vice president? And I was like, you know what, I should run for president. And everyone in the class was like, you know what, that is a terrible idea, Stumpy. You should not do that. So I was just like, you know what, Thank you guys, I'm going to do that. And then I ran for president, had an awesome campaign, put up some posters, and then I won. And then I went to the bathroom. I took a selfie in the mirror. Well, somebody photoshopped the picture to make it look like my trousers. They were down. And, well, then Mr. McFarland, he got back into the picture, the Photoshop picture, naturally, and he brought me in with my, with my mom, and she was like, Jamesy, why are you doing this stuff? And I was like, oh, I didn't do it, it's Photoshop, mom. I slept for three days, or three hours, about the same time. And then, you know, it just made me so sad, I just... Like, I got addicted to Play-Doh, so that, like, well, you know what, well, I, I was gonna go pet the puppies and, you know, kiss babies, kiss babies, as, as my advisor said, and I just, I just couldn't do it, I really damped my mood, I went into a deep depression, and it just can't, it's not working well. I'm just ashamed that somebody's artwork they made with my body was, I was persecuted for it. Even though that's art, that should be displayed proudly. I mean, I'm past all of it. Um, I'm, I'm in a rehab now. Um, I pet my cat daily. Um, I read to the deaf, you know, because I can't read otherwise. I feel as if we don't have good health care, so I was going to introduce stump care. Um, I just added a public pool for the orphans, and when they cry, it's going to be. Escape 911, 911 was perpetrated by recovery. <laughs> Feels like we don't have enough fundraisers for our pram, so we don't have to pay for the tickets because tickets are hella expensive. And I would just like to say that yearbooks are a little too overpriced too. We need more fundraisers for that. That the current president is doing nothing about. Also, the healthcare, as I mentioned earlier, stump care should be put into effect. Um, the affordable uh, stump act, as I like to call it. And um, so good, happy America Day, and um, I think good day, good day. Nice to meet you. How you doing? How are you today? I'm gonna ask you a couple questions about Stumpy. You know who that is? Is that former president? Did you vote for him? So Mitch, do you feel like Stumpy was wrongly impeached? Absolutely. Why? Because Stumpy's impeachment was done by our own government. We need to reinvestigate Stumpy's impeachment. I've heard a lot of things about Stumpy being a not so great person. I want to know what you think about him and what he does for the people. I've known Stumpy uh, for four years now. And I have to say that his claims are completely bogus. Stumpy is the most kind hearted. Uh, nicest, most understanding, caring person I've ever met. I don't know how anybody could uh, want to see him rise to the top and fall to the bottom. That's what I see. Well, I appreciate that. And the next thing I want to ask you is, uh, do you do you also think that uh, our government was the one who impeached him, or do you think that he did it to himself? Uh, Stumpy, you know. He wouldn't do that to himself, you know, as, as caring as he is, you know. You think his best interest is in the people? Absolutely, yeah. You no, know, I think there are people out there that don't like Stumpy, which is completely outrageous to me. How could you not like Stumpy? He is a star. So, <laughs> I think it's just evil that somebody would go in and impeach him like that. Over, uh, Bogus evidence that they can't be.